Well, for millions of binge-watching TV fans, the lockdowns provided an opportunity to soak up entire multi-series epics like Breaking Bad, the tale of chemistry teacher turned crystal meth maker Walter White. That programme spawned a prequel series featuring a seedy small-town lawyer, better call Saul. Well, the eponymous attorney's bail-bonding, sleaze-surfing epic ends with a series finale on Monday. Earlier, I spoke to Vince Gilligan, creator of Breaking Bad and co-creator of Better Call Saul, and asked him what the secret of long-running series were. Luck. <laughs> really? I mean, I, you know, I, it, it's funny. A lot of folks have asked, how did, how did these shows become hits? And, and we, we hired really good actors. Luck, luck and fine actors. What the hell is this? You know, Brian Cranston on Breaking Bad and Aaron Paul and that whole amazing cast. And then Bob Odenkirk and Ray Seahorn. If you have that, you, you're kind of making your own luck. But then, honestly, just, you know, you just never know. You just put forth uh, the best show that you can come up with, and then the chips fall where they may. In this case, folks seem to like the uh, both series and, and feel very fortunate about that. Some people would say pretty nihilistic, pretty dark view of America. Uh, do, you, do you accept that? Or, and do you just say, well, yeah, that's how it is? Or, or what, what drew you to that? That's a good question. I, I would definitely not say that's how it is in America, just like I would say that's not, not how it is in, in the UK or, or on the continent or anywhere. I, I, it's a big world we live in, thank goodness. And there's a lot of good and a lot of bad in every country. Speaking of America, when, when Breaking Bad, when I was coming up with that, it, it, I was really interested in the character. I wasn't trying to make a statement about, gee, health insurance in America is lacking or anything like that. That may well be the case. I, I try to stay as apolitical as possible. What interests me are fascinating characters. I leave uh, greater themes and, and greater meaning in terms of uh, critiques of the culture. I leave that to, to smarter people. I'm, I, to me, it's a big world, and you can find anything good or bad in it if you choose to do so. You, you find what you seek. Since you started on the journey, the way that people consume uh, their TV series has changed in, in quite a large degree, hasn't it? The streamer has become much more important. How critical was that, do you think, in building the global audience for these two series? Streaming was... Uh, it cannot be overstated how important that turned out to be. I was the last one to understand this fact because without streaming, without the ability of people for people to catch up to the series, we would have been canceled for, for lack of viewers. We had a, a, a real dearth of viewers in that first season until we went on streaming. Are you building a case against Jimmy? You conceived of Better Call, Call Saul as a sort of prequel uh, to the previous series. Is there any more gold in that mind, do you think, uh, with those characters in that situation? Or is this now, uh, on Monday, going to be definitively the last chapter that drops? I know it sounds like a tease, but I, I just I hate to commit myself uh, and, then, and then prove myself to be a liar later. But right now, Mark, I can't really conceive of... Uh, of, of, of I can conceive of there being more story in this universe, but I, I think I'm I'm played out as a as a creator of it. I want to try new things. I want to go off to doing new things. I want to prove to myself I'm not a, a one trick pony, as we say. Uh, and so I, right now, I do not foresee there being any more uh, story uh, in this universe. He was facing three years. He was facing six years. Eight years down in Guadalupe. He was facing twenty five. Years. Didn't do a single day. That's why he calls me the magic man. I asked him not to call me that, but he insists. <laughs> I've seen you quoted in other interviews saying a couple of different things about the next project. Uh, you've had two definitive anti-heroes. Uh, do you look for someone more heroic? Do you look for something more like the X-Files? I've seen a number of thoughts rattling around about where you might focus your creative talents next. What, what can you tell us about that? 
Well, I, you know, uh, when Breaking Bad, when, when I came up with it, antiheroes were, I, I did certainly did not invent the antihero. We had the amazing show, The Sopranos, that had already been on the air here in the States and throughout the world, and that definitely centers on an antihero. We had a wonderful show called The Shield over here. I hope it made it over there as well, another antihero. So it's not like we invented the genre or the or the type of character, but they were still somewhat few and far between 15 years ago. Nowadays, they're, they're a little more abundant. So now perhaps it is time to, uh, to, to try to come up with some sort of a more heroic character. We'll see. But I, I, I mainly would like to do something different, whatever that may turn out to be. I'd, I'd like to do something different than, than Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, not because I didn't have a wonderful time doing these shows, but simply because it's time to time to try something new. Well, millions will be tuning in on Monday for that last episode. Vince, Vince Gilligan, thank you very much indeed for joining us.